the day-to-day -day kind of training and competing and trying to qualify for championships doesn't change once up to a games and it's, it's it's a shame that the the commercial side of it is uh, isn't more consistent as you say in the worth of a of a of a Paralympic United and I still think I think it's changing I think London 2012 It's going to be a race where it's going to be leave first. Well, today is one of those cliched, I feel very proud to be honoured with OBE, uh, to be recognised for basically something I love doing. I just love my sport. Um, swimming was my career for 11 years. That was part of the recognition and also the cycling, which I'm currently doing and still doing at the very highest level. Um, I love my cycling every second of it. Um, for somebody to recognise it and to give me letters behind my name and for me to have a day at the palace and uh, just appreciate that whole thing. It really does help put Paralympic sport on the map, put myself on the map and raise the profile of the whole thing. And to see so many of my peers here, as fellow gold medalists from Rio, even the uh, the, 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 the big boss, uh, Tim Hollenberg, is here as well. So it's nice to see us all getting uh, awards today. And yeah, for years, like uh, para sport was always seen behind um, the Olympics, but now since sort of 2012, it's, it's become a lot more equal to what the Olympic teams are doing and uh, it just gets recognised. I mean, look at all the people that we've got here today. We've had uh, Sophie and Lee taking their knighthoods as well, which is, is superb. So it's a, it's a real step in the right direction and uh, one that may long may it continue. I've kind of, I'd say, worked my way up, but I don't know if that's the correct, the correct wording. But yeah, through the honours, uh, first an MB member of the British Empire, OB officer of the British Empire, CB commander of the British Empire, and now KB um, commander. No, knight commander. Even I'm getting him confused. Um, it's a very surreal feeling. Uh, nobody expects to become a Paralympic athlete, never mind a Paralympic medalist, never mind a Paralympic gold medalist, and then and then to receive a knighthood. It's just, um, it, this will be the most surreal day of my life, I think. Well, you've been... Uh, I started in 1998. So, so okay. yeah, so two about two decades. And, but it's a lifestyle with the horses. Um, I must admit, on rainy, cold, icy, freezing days, it's not the most pleasurable sport to be part of. And sometimes I think I wish taken taken up swimming. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then yesterday I was galloping and cantering around the Staffordshire countryside on my Rio horse Zion and loving every minute of it. So absolutely no regrets whatsoever. You, um, you still got that drive, the, the same drive that you had as a as a young man. Um. I take every day as it comes, really, and, and kind of my aims are for Tokyo and uh, and maybe beyond. Or I might get to Tokyo and think, no, I, I've kind of done enough. Uh, I was sat next to Dame Jessica Ennis um, in the investor and just discussing like when she retired versus when I I might retire. But I've I've got no no plans at the moment. 